Hello everyone! I'm Mary Gwyneth Lijatimas. My name is Karen Leah D. Pinton. I am Lawrence Erin Baron. We are going to discuss to you the story of Chalbi and the man behind the most famous bee, chairman and founder of Chalbi. Tony Tan Kak. Uh, my work was really more on how we satisfying the customers. Uh, what do they need? And then uh, how do we take care of our employees? Because this business is really people's and uh, we have to pay attention to people. Therefore, how is our employees? Are they having fun? Are they growing with us? They would always say, what's the most important for us? It's also people, people, people. Jollibee is a Filipino multinational chain of fast food. It is a family-centric brand that promotes family values and togetherness and espouses Filipino pride. Its mission is to serve great tasting food, bringing the joy of eating to everyone. No wonder Jollibee's the most favorite fast food chain of Filipinos, especially children. But what is really the story of Jollibee? And who is Tony Tan Kaktiong? Tony Tan Kaktiong was born in a poor family in Fujian, province of China, on 5th of January, year 1953. His family immigrated to the Philippines in search for better life. Tony's father worked for a Chinese temple in Binondo, Manila. Due to his father's talent in cooking, he was able to acquire an offer to manage a restaurant in Davao. Tony became involved in the restaurant business at a very young age. Because of the family's hard work, they were able to send Tony to Manila where he pursued a chemical engineering course at the University of Santo Tomas. Tony and his colleagues went on a visit to a Magnolia ice cream plant located in Quezon City. Tony got inspired and interested on an advertising post to franchise an ice cream house. At the age of 22, with the help of his family, he used his family's savings to invest their money to purchase two franchises of the ice cream house, amounting 350,000 pesos. The two ice cream houses were called Kubao Ice Cream House and Quiapo Ice Cream House. Two years later, he added an offer, hamburgers, and other hot meals to the menu as customers were telling them that they didn't want to be eating ice cream all the time. Immediately, the hamburger and hot meals were outselling the ice creams. People were lining up more for hamburgers than for ice cream. Tony realized he needed a brand name, a symbol to represent his new business venture. He and his marketing consultant Manuel Lomba was very inspired and impressed with Disneyland's characters. They also took inspiration from Tony Velasquez's Nanong Panda comic book character. They came up with a bee. Sin bees are known for its hard work to produce one of life's sweetest things, honey. In addition, he also wanted to incorporate the brand with happiness as it reminded him of the Filipino culture. Fun and happy all the time. An excellent symbol to present everybody, especially Filipino people they are catering and serving. Happy and hard working. In 1981, the number one fast food chain in the world came into the picture international brand McDonald's was making an entry in the Philippines but failed to take Jollibee's spot as number one fast food chain industry in the country. Tony knew and deeply understand the Filipino culture. He knew the Filipino taste sweet. By incorporating the sweet blend as their specialty, Jollibee was able to prosper. Tony also noticed Filipinos like to smell their food before they eat their food. Hence, the reason behind one of the most successful advertising campaign of Jollibee grew, grew bigger. They were also able to acquire other fast food chain companies like Greenwich, 
Chow King, Red Ribbon, and Mang Inhasad. This is the success story of Tony Tan Kak Jung, the man behind Philippines' most beloved bee. Today, Jollibee has more than 1,000 branches in the Philippines and more than 100 branches worldwide. <laughs>